So, the Vitus got a fix as it had more attack speed than it should, so you could call it a nerf, but in reality it was a fix. And now I want to present you guys another grind pool as the old ones are outdated now. So what have I been using to grind now? Well, actually I have a few variations and I'm going to show you the one that can almost just do run buys on the monster packs. If you want to see the other ones, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon too. But let's go straight to the build. Let's start with the set items. We are going to use 4 pieces of Gloom Good as it will increase our damage by 15% and critical chance by 22.5%. And that's almost 40% increase in damage just by this set. Of course the critical rate damage will be unstable damage but overall with high armor penetration it's more than 22.5% increase in damage per second. But of course, it's not long window when you have these buffs applied to you as you need to use dash skill to get these buffs and they only last for 3 seconds each. But they are both triggered by single dash skill and that's why we have 2 dash skills in the arsenal. Let's start with the one that gives the most mobility so you can jump back to back as fast as possible. This skill is called Mystic Strike and you will probably want to use the Traveling Scold or optionally you could also use Branding Bond but it has little less range than the Traveling Scold and Traveling Scold also has bigger radius on the hitbox. You could also run this without any legendaries but the range again will be smaller if you decide to not use any legendaries. Now this skill will trigger Gloom Good and it has pretty good damage alone, especially if you do crit the monsters. Also the range on this ability is huge, so you definitely want to use this skill as mobility skill, but I would recommend using it only when you are in range of the next pack, so you get the additional damage out of this skill, as we do have another mobility skill to cover longer distance but later on that one more and straight to the next dash skill this skill is mostly to refresh the gloom goods buffs and that skill is flying kick and with flying kick we will of course be using the spokes of the wheels as the spoke of the wheels gives us 10% increased damage after using flying kick this skill is used to get all the buffs going on and that effectively increases our damage output by 50% maybe even more if you happen to have really high armor penetration for higher crit damage as you can have 50% increased critical damage if you have high enough armor penetration and we also will be using Fist of Thunder to have the extra mobility if for some reason we need to jump on a pack or some monsters. It's just a normal attack, we barely use it, but it's there if you need it. Next up we will have our mobility and DPS skill that makes the build have the ability to just almost run through packs. That skill is Shield of Zen and with Shield of Zen we will need fires of peace to turn it to damaging our effect rather than having a shield from it. Now I used to love this skill but the damage was a bit disappointing as the damage is almost the same as normal attacks but with Gloom's crit chance and damage increase paired with the flying kick increasing the damage even further it does huge amount of damage to every monster around you. And with Enlightenment's blessing you will run 25% faster almost all the time. And how do you have it almost all the time on? Well, firstly, we will be running Pensive Crown for the 13% increased duration on Shield of Zen. We also want to use two pieces of Witho's Urge for another 30% increase in the duration. This also increases the Flying Kick's buff duration. Now you are really close to having no downtime on this skill already but if you want to make it one step further you can use refurge stones to refurge beneficial effects in it to have around 15% more beneficial effect duration now if you don't want to have 
child set as a family set i don't recommend reforging just for this as now the family sets can have cooldown of 13 seconds and it's worth it to have the wall family on so if you are not using jolt just use something else and don't reforge into this because we do have other things like you can use blessed bevel rank 10 on chest if it's not rank 10 it doesn't matter where it is but with all this you should have about 100 percent uptime on shield of zen of course if you don't have the reforge stones reforge in the beneficial effects then it's going to be a just a bit over one second of cooldown but that's good enough at least for me and with this you will effectively have about 100% uptime on the 25% movement speed for faster farm time without the sets that give movement speed and having the option to have damage sets instead so farming outside doing bounties you have the 25% movement speed almost all the time that's just perfect and if this build wasn't good enough already we do have one skill to go by and that's of course going to be wave of light what you thought i'm not going to have wave of light on my build it's the most damaging ability on monk's arsenal at the moment and it will be crazy to not run it so with wave of light we are of course using shimmerlin to make the wave of light release a wave of energy doing damage and burning the enemies if you aren't running by the mobs yet with this skill you will almost always one shot the wall back when you use flying kick or mystic strike to reach the back and then use wave of light and keep in mind you also have shield of zen almost all the time on so you will have huge amounts of damage output all the time so when you have wave of light on cooldown you hit the monster just a few times and the shield of zen will do the work for you so with this build you basically have 100% uptime or 25% movement speed increase you will have two dashes to move faster on the enemies you will have a aura that damages everything around you almost all the time that makes the farming easier and you can make mistakes and the monster are still getting damaged you just need to refresh the skills every now and then about in 10 seconds every 10 seconds every 12 seconds and then you have of course the infamous wave of light that just absolutely destroys everything on your way so that will just insta kill the packs if you have enough damage but it's close there with everybody now this should be all about the build if you like the build or find this video helpful hit that like button and as always, please have a great day.